Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of um, October 14th. Uh, you start with this Scales of Balance card, which is a Libra card. It says, find balance within yourself and things will balance out around you. You also have this Tears of Remorse card. It says, make peace with your regrets and allow the past to guide your actions in the future. A lot of people have had energy like this about kind of making peace with the past. I would say that uh, I'm shooting this video on October 9th and after October 11th, all the personal planets start going retrograde. Uh, they don't all go retrograde at the same time. Like for example, Mars doesn't go retrograde until the end of the year. Uh, but again, we're not really going to have, a, we're, we're entering into a time of personal retrogrades right now. So, you know, it kind of makes sense to me that you know, a lot of people could be clearing up things from the past. I guess the good news is that is that it seems to me like people are clearing things up from the past. So it's not like, uh, you know, it's not, it hasn't been one of those sets of readings where it feels like everybody is stuck on the past, you know? And I would say, of course, that is a good thing. And you have that scales of balance card. So it's like you're bringing things into balance, which again, I would say is definitely um, a good thing. You start with the three of wands and the three of wands, of course, is a card of expansion and growth. And I, I kind of feel like some of you are looking to set yourself free because you go your first diagonal, you go down Eight of Swords here to the Ace of Swords. The Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction or feeling stuck doing things kind of like one way. And the you know the Ace of Swords is a victory or overcoming some sort of challenge because the sword is above the mountains here on the Ace of Swords. And like I said, it would kind of represent overcoming a challenge or a difficulty, but uh, definitely expansion. You have the King of Wands, which is about being bold, being assertive, really going for what you want. So a lot of you could really be uh, putting the work in to make things happen. I kind of feel like this is your energy in a lot of ways. Uh, there is a little bit of love in this reading, but you know, I kind of feel that you are embracing the energy, like the King of Wands energy, uh, because you also have the Three of Wands and the Ace of Swords. Um, you know, all three of these cards are kind of visionary cards. The King of Wands is the visionary, the Three of Wands looking into the future, and the Ace of Swords is kind of a card being laser focused uh, towards like a goal, uh, which you could say is the future. And, you know, I, I feel a lot of you are more focused on accomplishing things at this time. Uh, you have the Five of Pentacles. Uh, I definitely need to get out of this right here. So Five of Pentacles to the Eight of Swords and the Hangman. I actually feel like the Hangman is your solution because the Five of Pentacles is only focusing on your weaknesses. The Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. And the solution to the Five of Pentacles is to change your perspective, literally. The solution to the Five of Pentacles is to focus on your strengths. And sorry, I can't hit the right buttons today, apparently. But, um, you know, again, it's a card that says, do not call attention to your weaknesses. You know, focus on your strengths. And if you do that, you will be much more successful. And and, you know, again, I think the hangman is just saying that looking at things from a different perspective will be very beneficial for you or it will probably help out the most. Uh, with the three of wands, you have the ace of pentacles, um, two aces, which I love. So that looks good. You know, this kind of looks going this way. <laughs> it kind of looks like an opportunity that you are just thinking about because you go to the Ace of Swords, which is a thinking card. Uh, and we also have the Page of Pentacles. He kind of has this one pentacle that he's holding on to and he's just kind of looking at it. And so I feel that some of you could have a new opportunity pop up that you're thinking about. With the King of Wands, you have the Three of Wands. Exactly like I said, I, I feel for a lot of you that the King of Wands is you kind of being a visionary at this time, like having uh, more future-focused ideas for the direction of your life or like where you're going. And again, I think this is definitely a good thing. Uh, we're definitely in a time where we have to move forward with confidence. And, you know, the King of Wands, uh, King of Wands and Queen of Wands come up for almost everyone. It's like we're, we can't just try something. We have to do something, right? <laughs> and I feel that, you know, collectively, this is very much a collective energy where the universe is saying, like, if you're just trying, then it's the things you're doing, prob like if you're just dipping your toes in the water, uh, whatever your goal you're trying to accomplish probably isn't going to work. But if you dive in head first and jump into the deep end, it might be a little messy, but it, it will work. Uh, with the Five of Pentacles, you have the Five of Wands. Yeah, Five of Pentacles is, with the Five of Wands, is conflict and competition. Uh, this could also just be that you are conflicted about starting something because you feel like you don't have the resources necessary uh, to start whatever you're trying to start. 
Uh, next, in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this meant to be card. You also have this accept responsibility card, which would be very King of Wands energy for sure. Uh, the King of Wands can literally uh, represent accepting responsibility. You know, he has kind of like that. Um, that radical acceptance type of energy to him where he doesn't, you know, blame himself. And I, I'm, I'm very much, you know, I, I don't think we should kind of um, blame ourselves for things that happen to us or anything like that. But he does kind of look at the things that he's doing and he accepts responsibility for um, like what's working, not working in his life. And, you know, this helps him come up with better solutions. And I do feel a lot of you could be doing that right now. Again, like I said, I wouldn't, you know, don't, um, you know, make yourself a victim, right? Like don't blame yourself for things, but there's nothing wrong with like looking at what you're doing and saying like, oh, I could have done this. I could do that. And as long as you're doing it from a positive uh, place, then, it, you know, positive perspective with that hangman, then it will be fine. You have the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, very good energy. You know, a card of gratitude and luxuries, card of building wealth in the world as well. Uh, you always get the Nine of Pentacles with me. And again, if I were a Libra, I have zero Libra in my chart. I, I have no planets in Libra, I should say. And um, but but if I did, uh, this is this would be my focus. Would be my environment. The, the you know the things that I surround myself with. The th the thing the people, places, and things that are in my energy field. I think it's an amazing time to curate your environment, meaning that you create an environment or curate an environment of success and surround yourself with, you know, th signs, symbols, <laughs> um, you know, surround yourself with habits and people that kind of lift you up. And that's what I, that's pretty much the only thing I would focus on with the nine of pentacles. It'll probably help you the most. Uh, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is only seeing one way of doing things when there are many. So we really need to be flexible at this time. We are in a very flexible time. We've been dealing with a lot of fixed energy for a while. We had a lot of energy you know, over the past few years in Taurus, kind of, we had, we had Jupiter in Taurus, it's not there anymore, but it was, we still have Uranus in Taurus, so this is very fixed, and I think that fixed energy encourages us to do the opposite, which is to be flexible in how we accomplish whatever we're trying to accomplish, and again, you have the uh, hangman here, and the hangman would be looking at things from a different perspective. You know, he's hanging upside down and hoping that maybe he can find a better solution to whatever he's trying to do. The hangman is part of the fool's journey, and the fool gets the hangman, and he puts himself on pause, you know, in hangman mode, so that he can kind of just take a breath, number one. But number two, he needs to be able to make sure that he's doing things the right way, or maybe there's a better way uh, that he could be doing anything that he's doing, and that's what he's trying to find. Uh, you have the four of wands. Uh, four of wands is a card of marriage, of course. There's a, a little bit of love here, like I said. So, you know, if you want love, there definitely could be a new person. I don't really feel like that's the focus necessarily for you this week, but, you know, it is here if you want it. Uh, the four of wands is really a card of freedom and kind of completing one thing and uh, crossing through this th this threshold here. The four of wands is a portal card. We have to step through this portal right here in the middle and get to the other side so that we can be set free. The Eight of Swords, we have to set ourselves free, and I feel a lot of you are setting yourselves free. We have the Ace of Swords, we go to the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands. You know, this would be like an exciting new adventure or, uh, you know, you working on something new to set yourself free. With the Nine of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Pentacles. I'm just getting do what works, right? The Eight of Pentacles is a card of diligent work. He is just doing what works in his life, and that's it. You know, he's not too worried about uh, doing, you know, r random things. He's not putting energy into anything that isn't working. He's just doing what is working. And that's definitely the message I'm getting off the Eight of Pentacles. I would also say that the Five of Pentacles kind of confirms this because the Five of Pentacles, again, says do not call attention to your weaknesses. And it just says like focus on what you're good at, right? And it's like, you know, if you don't know my story, I had a successful uh, marketing agency when I was like younger. And uh, one thing I would do is like go into businesses and I would just identify what was working for them. <laughs> and I would say, people literally paid me to say, this is what's working. I'll double Do this and get rid of the rest, right? <laughs> and um, guess what? It works. So again, I'm a big fan of doubling down on what works and getting rid of the rest. Uh, with the uh, Eight of Swords, you have two cards here. You have the Eight of Wands and the Devil. So the devil, of course, would be like a toxic energy, but the devil can be anything that's stealing your energy, and it, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. Again, if you are uh, if you have a business and you're spending 10 hours a week even doing something that isn't working, that could be like an energy vampire for the business. 
then this can say that there is something that's like sucking too much energy away from what you're trying to accomplish. The eight of wands is quick success. So, you know, a lot of you could be uh, kind of like overcoming whatever this is, or there is quick success coming in for you. Uh, with the four of wands, you have the six of pentacles. You have the six of pentacles twice, and the six of pentacles is a great card of balance, and you have several cards of balance here. Now, and this, the eight of swords is a card of balance. You also have the balance card or the scales of balance at the beginning of the reading. So I think this is, you know, the reading very simply is asking you to balance things out. If you're, again, if you're doing things that are stealing too much energy, get rid of them. If you're doing things that aren't stealing too much energy, double down on those things and you'll be more successful. Uh, next, in the area of messages from your future self, you have this badger spirit. It says, be fearless, be bold. You have this, um, which we said with the king of wands. Uh, you have this vulture. It says, nothing is wasted. Uh, the vulture is about conservation of energy as well. So vultures, they fly around in the sky and they don't really flap their wings, right? They soar around. So they're not wasting their energy until they find food and then they start moving towards the food. So the vulture kind of again, is talking about balancing out your energy and making sure that you're doing more of the things that give you energy and less of the things that steal it. And that's what I would do here. Uh, you have the uh, hangman, the page of pentacles and the ace of swords. The hangman, like I said, is about enlightenment and it's about seeing things from a new perspective. I kind of feel that you need to go and get new perspectives with the page of wands. I also, you know, really, I say this to everyone because I think we all need to gain new perspectives on whatever it is that we're working on. And we can only do this through research. And you have the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is a card of studiousness. It says if there's anything that you want to become successful in your life, you have to become a student of whatever that is. So you have to learn as much as you can. If it's love, then go learn about love. There's plenty of great advice advice out there. There's plenty of crappy advice as well, but you know, kind of sift through it. And we have to try things and be willing to make mistakes with the Six of Pentacles as well. So, you know, Six of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles would kind of be like learning things and then making mistakes, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't and going from there, you know. And, you know, I get I, anytime I say anything like this, pe I get tons of questions from people that say, well, it's like plenty of people give advice, but a lot of it's bad advice. I'm like, yeah, but, you know, we have to figure out what's good or bad. So you have to experiment, see what works, see what doesn't, make mistakes, not be afraid to make mistakes, and double down on the good stuff. Look at all the experiments I run on this channel. You can literally see it right in front of your face. I'm, I'm sure every time you come to this channel, something is different <laughs> because I run a lot of experiments. Most of them, 90% of them are mistakes. But, you know, it's like I think I have the amount of subscribers I do because I experiment so much. So, you know, again, I'm a big fan of experimenting, making mistakes, trying new things. And the Page of Pentacles says you have to go on that journey. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, definitely a victory. I also, I do feel like you're overcoming something this week because, you know, the sword is above the mountains on the Ace of Swords and it just represents overcoming an obstacle. The Ace of Swords also cuts both ways and we have this palm frond right here. The palm fronds in the tarot, they kind of represent survivor energy because they can grow in, you know, palm trees can grow in the desert, uh, but they also represent a sacrifice and the Ace of Swords cuts both ways. So it can represent removing one thing from your life so that you can have something better. And, you know, I would really look at that with this reading. It's like there could be some things that you need to cut out or remove so you can have something better in your life. Uh, with the hangman, you have the page of pentacles uh, again. <laughs> so again, you have to learn about new perspectives, learn, you know, educating yourself on uh, different ways of doing things, especially in work or business with the, you know, all the pentacle cards that we see throughout the reading would probably make you more successful and just be a good thing for you to do. With the Page of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Swords. Again, I do feel that there could be a person coming in for you if you want love. Uh, you know, want love. Uh, this person might want to move faster than you. So, you know, again, you might have to tell this person that you want to move slower or that you want things to slow down. The Knight of Swords, I don't feel bad about this either. Um, you know, I, I feel like it'll be fine, but the Knight of Swords is too hasty. The, the Knight of Swords is kind of, um, you know, can move too quickly or want to move too quickly. And I would just make sure that, you know, again, if you're meeting a person that it doesn't move too quickly. Uh, the other thing is, is that, uh, the Knight of Swords does represent momentum, and the Six of Pentacles can also represent building momentum. Obviously, if you keep doing things that are working, <laughs> then things should speed up. So I would keep building momentum. 
With the Ace of Swords, you have the High Priestess. Very intuitive week. You know, a lot of people have had these messages of really trusting their intuition or needing to tap in more into their intuition. And I do feel it's just a very intuitive time where we could be getting a lot of intuitive messages or... Um, you know, we could be, you know, our dreams could be on fire or we could be having uh, like in, in te more intense dreams, I guess you could say. And I would pay attention to those messages that you're receiving in your dreams and other areas of your life as well. Uh, you have this uh, sacred journey card. Uh, can't make that up. We were talking about going on a journey with the page of pentacles and the page of wands. And you also have the soul healing card. And so you've been on a journey for a long time is what this is saying to me. And I feel like you're just continuing the journey with this Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is excited for a new adventure. He is moving towards his excitement. That's you know pretty much it. He is enthusiastic for a new adventure as well. And so if you're doing anything new, then I think the Page of Wands is going to be a very good energy for you. And I, you know, again, I, I'm a big fan of following enthusiasm right now because I think it's like the only thing that is guiding us. Um, you know, I always say that we've had Neptune in Pisces for a while. Neptune will be in Pisces until the end of 2025, like beginning of 2026 when it you know, moves on. But what I would say about that Neptune and Pisces energy is it kind of makes like normally we, we work towards something and there are little clues that we're moving in the right direction. It's like with Neptune and Pisces, Neptune and Pisces wants us to learn to trust ourselves. <laughs> and so those clues are are missing. And, you know, I think that is something that people could be experiencing. Like you, normally in the, maybe in the past, you would work towards something and you would get these little milestones or these little clues that you're going in the right direction. Neptune and Pisces, Uranus and Taurus, we have to trust our heart and and it, we have to trust our intuition and you know what we feel is right and the page of wands i think is is a little bit helpful because it says as long as you're enthusiastic about something even if you don't see it you're moving in the right direction you have the six of pentacles and balance is maybe the most important part of this reading we have a lot of cards of balance and creating balance so that's what I would do here. I would also like focus on your investments, you know, like where you're putting your energy and it, not even just money. Like I'm not saying investments as in money, but it could be, it could be money, but I would say it's like everything, your time, your effort, your energy, your attention, like what are you giving those things to? And, you know, can you make sure that you're giving those things to, uh, to the people, places, and things that are actually working in your life and creating balance? And that, that is like the only fo thing I would focus on here. Uh, you have the judgment card. Um, a lot of people, it, you know, I, I would say that it might be a little bit of a realization week for you where you could be having some deep realizations about your life and about where you're headed. The judgment card can literally be a wake-up call. And so a lot of you could be having like certain wake-up calls at this time or gaining a lot of clarity. Again, we have heavy retrogrades coming up. So, uh, you know, Jupiter's going retrograde today on October 9th, the day that I'm doing this reading. This, this reading will be out on the 10th. Uh, then after the 11th, you know, we start having Venus, Mercury, Mars going retrograde between the 11th and the end of the year. And, you know, again, I think during these, uh, I, you know, people always think of these heavy retrograde times as a time of confusion, but really I look at retrogrades as a time of clarity because we revisit things, we go back over things and gain clarity. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the Four Swords. Four Swords, card of resting, relaxing, recovering. So a lot of you could be taking time to heal. Um, but I really kind of feel like you're getting up because we have the pause right here with the Hangman. And then we go to the Four Swords. The Four Swords, he kind of is on pause because he's resting, relaxing, recovering. But it's coming up with the Page of Wands in the good stuff. So I feel that you're actually coming off of a period of being on pause. With the Six of Pentacles, you have the Tower. Uh, the Tower showing up in the good stuff. And also, uh, just like I said, the Tower with the Judgment card represents a wake-up call or a major revelation. And it's coming up in the good stuff. So this would be a good thing. I consider this right here to be the most powerful combination in the Tarot, the Tower with the Judgment card. It represents like a big light bulb moment, a sudden realization, a sudden information coming in for you. And so again, if you're having any realizations, I would pay attention to that. Yeah, look at this. With the Judgment card you have the star the star comes up after the you know after the tower represents healing from a tower moment so if you have had a tower moment you could be healing uh, but this could also again just represent guidance the star is like having a north star in life you know the star is that guiding light that we move towards uh in, in towards whatever we want we want right the star is your north star so I feel for a lot of you, uh, this could say that this week you're feeling much more guided or you're feeling much more like you're on your path. 
Uh, you have this resourcefulness card. It's an excellent time to be resourceful. So I would say, in, especially with the Six of Pentacles, I was getting this energy of needing to make sure that you're not wasting your energy. So, you know, I would be as resourceful as possible. Uh, you have this idealism card. Um, this card says that you're actually getting an I you know, that there could be a more ideal situation coming into your life. You know, nothing is perfect in life, but this could be something that's a little bit more perfect coming in for you, and it could be anything. Uh, next, you have the rebellion card. Mm, I, I think this is a kind of like a little bit of a theme for you, Libra, that's been coming up for a very long period of time where, I, like, I don't know that you're like rebelling in life, but I do feel that you are making changes that maybe out side people think is you kind of going against the grain, right? I, I would say that you're more going against the grain. It's like you're not following the crowd as much. And, you know, this is probably a good thing for you because we have Pluto uh, going into Aquarius in November. And so this will be good. Uh, you have this discrimination card. This is about being able to tell what's like right and wrong for you. And so I feel a lot of you are um, just getting better at like picking, <laughs> plain and simple. Uh, you have this flirtation card. Yes, I, I think if there is love coming in for you this week, it is more flirtation. You know, it's like the be very beginning because page of pentacles, page of wands, you know, this would be like something new. The other thing I'm getting here is that you are flirting with new ideas. We see a lot of exploration going on in this reading. So you could be exploring and, and you know, kind of flirting with new ideas, uh, but these new ideas could become your purpose with the judgment card or, you know, could become something that makes your life better. So a uh, pretty simple reading here, Libra. I like it. I like simple readings because it's just like simple <laughs> and not complicated. Uh, so it looks good, but thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.